Nah. We need Kendrick Lamar to drop. That's what we need. Kendrick! Where are you, Kendrick? Don't let me for my ambition. Wow. Okay, another reaction. Another diss? What is going on, bro? What a day. Shout out to everyone in the world watching this. This is Sound from Club Ambition back again with another reaction. It hasn't been 12 hours and another person has entered the battle of picking sides. Ever since Metro Boomin, shout out to Metro Boomin, said, eh, pick a side and stay there. Rappers have been making it clear if they're on the Metro Boomin future Kendrick side or the Drake side. Kanye West has dropped a song out of nowhere on his Instagram in an interview with Justin LaBoy. It's been leaked by Adam22 for two days. And I guess they're officially dropping it. And it's a remix to Like That, the number one song in the country, the biggest song of the year so far, the Kendrick Lamar diss verse to Drake. What is Kanye West doing? Kanye West is hopping on this song. Is it official? Did Metro Boomin stamp this? Did Future stamp this? Or is it just a random reproduction by Kanye West? Let's play it. I'm, I'm so confused right now. I'm so confused. We got Drake dropping an AI song with Tupac and Snoop Dogg. Then we got Chris Brown basically ending Quavo's career. And now we got Kanye West remixing like that? All in 12 hours? Nah. This has to be like one of the best years in hip-hop history. What the fuck is going on? All right, let's go. You know we had to get the hooligans up here. We gonna take this pussy nigga out. Yo, Dot, I got you. So right away he's saying, you know we gotta get the hooligans. That that's the people that I'm in, doing the introduction for um Carnival. Ho 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 ho! I didn't the Carnival. The Chance is a group of white men. I think I forgot where they're from originally. I think they're from out of the country. He had to get the hooligans, so he got them in the studio again for this one. And he said, Yo, Dot, I got you to take this pussy nigga out. Is he? Does he think he's about to body Drake? Like, was he? Bro, is he dissing, like, Drake? Now you're entering the Drake beef battle? But the other day he made a post saying that he kind of was better than both Drake and Kendrick. Yo, Dot, I got you. What the Stop, won't stop. I just fucked your bitch and some in a Sean John tank. Uh, he's talking about Sean John, so that's like a joke because of the Diddy situation. Like, Diddy, I guess, sexualizing Diddy in a sense, right? Diddy, that's a random line to say. Oh, my cat Williams, so he's shouting out Cat Williams. Cat Williams set off the year. 2024 with the bang saying that he's gonna reveal everything expose everything the truth is gonna be revealed this is the year of reckoning and now we got Kanye West in in getting his inner Cat Williams energy out like that uh, going number one he's addressing the the actual what's it called going number one that vultures album and the vultures song carnival going number one in the country so he's addressing all that shit going number one and then he's saying we just hit another one so i think this is officially going to be released then by metro Boomin, and them like he knows that this is going to go charting right it's the biggest producer in the world right now metro the biggest album in the world the future album the biggest song in the world they like that and then we have the biggest artist of all time, maybe Kanye West, the best artist of all time. But the verse is so far is not like amazing. It's not impressive. It's kind of bad, but it's like making a statement. You know, the impact of the statement. I get what he's trying to do here. You know, he's trying to be quirky, funny. I and grill, a smile on the rock. I done had everything that you're able to get. I ain't been in drill too. I ain't gonna lie, it was chopped. He's addressing the grills. He got the titanium grills. Everyone's now wearing, right? Rihanna. And he's saying, like, uh, smile on the rocks, like a drink. It's like a little quick pun. And he said he invented everything. He's done everything. His ego is crazy. But he said even um, 
drill music. But then he said, no, it's actually Chop, Young Chop. Young Chop, the producer, Chief Keith's producer out of Chicago. Young Chop, by the way, where the hell are you? We haven't seen Young Chop in forever. Don't know what's going on with Young Chop. <laughs> Then it's two and three, three. Vultures number three, three. That sounds like Ty Dolla Sign to me. I think Ty Dolla Sign's on here, kind of doing background vocals and doing like a little thing. But why would Ty Dolla Sign approve of a Drake diss? If Ty Dolla Sign, I guess, is just riding with Kanye? Because Ty Dolla Sign's cool with Drake, right? Ty Dolla Sign was on Drake's Scorpion album, right? Now, what the fuck is going on? Is he picking a side now? Pluto sent the drones, they hit like Metro's beats. Okay, so he shout out Metro Boomin. Right? Pluto sent the drones. What does that mean? Future. What drones did he send? He didn't send no drones. What drones you guys think he's talking about? Maybe he means like he's Pluto is like getting more people on his side. Damn. So he's accusing Drake of being in a lifetime deal with Lucian. For those who don't know, Lucian Grange is the owner, the head of Universal Music Group, UMG, the biggest record label in the world. And they own other smaller record labels. They own a lot of music, a good percentage of the music industry. And Drake has always rapped about Lucian. Most recently, even in the AI Tupac song that he did dissing Kendrick, he mentioned Lucian again as one of his friends and like their relationship, right? But Kanye is saying that he is now basically a slave because it's a lifetime deal. You, you, you sold your masters. This has not been confirmed. Did Drake sell his masters to Lucian? Is that why Drake re-signed again and didn't go independent? I thought he was going to go independent. Um, about two albums ago, he had the opportunity. His deal was up, but he re-signed again. There was a reported number of about $600 million that he got paid by Lucian. But then Drake's been dropping. You know, last year he dropped basically three albums. With Scary Hours, you can count it as a third album. This year, nothing yet, but we're going to expect... You know, a Drake album at some point Is he trying to just kind of fulfill his contract And kind of get out of his contract Drop a bunch of music Or is Drake just dropping a bunch of music What is going on? Does Kanye West know more than us? Kanye West is independent So he does have that upper hand I guess now he's getting cocky with the independent independent side of things Because he's been independent and successful Number one in the country Number one album I think, is it Vultures going platinum? Is on his way to platinum, right? So That's crazy So he, this is a, it's a Drake diss He's dissing Drake. Out of sight, out of mind. I can't even think of a Drake line. Play J. Cole, get the pussy dry. Play this shit back 130 times. <laughs> Kanye West just said, J. Cole scares the hoes. If you want to get the pussy wet, don't play J. Cole. If you want the pussy dry, play J. Cole. And the cover art, IG Real, is a meme of J. Cole, people making fun of being a J. Cole fan. It's a classic old meme. Kanye is coming at J. Cole. Now, why? Him and, and J. Cole have had a, kind of their, their back and forth as far as acknowledgments, respect, here and there. But, damn, the double down. People are bullying. This is bullying. They're bullying J. Cole. They're on top of J. Cole. They are, they are bullying J. Cole now. That's what's going on. It's a, it's a bullying from Kanye West to J. Cole. Because we have Drake, in my opinion, called him a pussy on push-ups. I think he called J. Cole a pussy. People want to say he didn't. I think that's what he meant. Um, fuck it. I don't give a fuck. That's what he meant. Then we have people being mad at him apologizing. And now we have Kanye West saying, if you want the pussy dry... Actually, play some J. Cole music. <laughs> what the fuck? Listen, this verse, I think it's bad. It's a bad verse. But it's funny. It's entertaining. 
and it's good for the moment. It's not better than Kanye's verse. I mean, my bad. It's not better than Kendrick's verse. It's not better than uh, the Drake song that dropped this weekend. It's not better than the Rick Ross song. You know, if I'm Kanye, I would do a, a Drake diss, like a full Drake diss song, you know, produced by him, everything. Because Kanye can diss Drake if he wanted to musically, very, very thought-provokingly. Because Kanye West produced Best I Ever Had, Drake's first major hit. So he's wrote, written for Drake. Drake's written for him. There's a lot of history. So if he wants to go that route, he can really take it there. This was a way for him, to, I guess, to be a part of the conversation. Tag me in. You know, let's, should we tag Kanye West now in the battle? Um, if we want to compare hits and like shots fired so far the biggest shot on here was the j cole line you know because drake we don't know drake's deal unless kanye knows it but if drake doesn't want to be independent that's not really a, a l bro if someone's offering you let's say 600 million 700 million dollars for your masters all drake has to do is just drop new music and that's what he's been doing he got more hits to come he, he has probably like 10 more years in his career of prime, maybe? Who knows? Like, he's not getting any worse, in my opinion. So, nah. We need Kendrick Lamar to drop. That's what we need. Kendrick, where are you, Kendrick? That's what the fuck we need to know. Um, But here we have it again. What a weekend. What a, what a 24 hours. I got to get a lineup from a barber soon. I got to, like, shower, eat rest can they can they stop dropping bombs that way we can just chill you know what i'm saying what the fuck is going on bro and this is not on streaming yet hopefully it doesn't go on streaming i don't want this to be this is not this is eh. and then titus holla signs co-signing this bro drake is about to just shoot at everyone drake is about to just shoot at everyone kanye you just put yourself in the line of fire. It's about to get it's about to get uglier. We thought it was bad already. It's about to get uglier. Check out the Patreon. I'm gonna upload reactions on Patreon in case because these are leaks. So I'm gonna put them on there as well in case they get blocked or deleted from YouTube. We don't know what's going on with these labels and this AI, these leaks. We don't know what's going on. This is kind of like a remix, the vultures remix I'm hearing. Wow. I can't wait for that Justin LeBoy full interview because Kanye explains how this happens, I saw. I want to know how did this happen? Who reached out to who? I was with Metro Woman the other day, but I didn't want to ask him any questions pertaining to this. Or maybe I did. We're going to reveal it soon. That's for you not to know and for me to keep it quiet. Shout out to Metro Boomin. The production's hard. I guess this is an official Metro Boomin and Kanye collab production wise. Is it the first time? So random. So random. Comment below. How do you guys think about. You know, what do you guys think about this? Rank it. Rate it. How do you feel about the new Kanye West verse dissing Drake and J. Cole? Much love. Appreciate you. Be safe this weekend. Don't love me for my ambition.